am here today at one of my favourite parks in all of Melbourne. It's the Coburg Lakes. Now, I usually come here once a month to go on the free gym because I'm a stinge. <laughs> But on a serious note, lately I've been feeling as if I've just been going from one box to another box. From my house box, to my car box, to my work box. And it's not till I'm out in the beautiful open air that I realise I have been carrying a lot of tension in my body. <sighs> so I definitely need to block out more time to spend in nature. But that's not the only reason why I'm here. I'm actually here to meet some good friends of mine. Shall we? Hello girls! Hanny's back! <coughs> Birds! I love them. There's something about them that just lights me up. And anybody who knows me well knows I can't pass a pretty bird in a car without stopping in the middle of the road to say, hey beautiful, sometimes on a highway. And I actually think that they should build a lane for that express purpose, but I mean, that's, that's another conversation between me and the council. So this park basically gave me an idea. And since this vlog is basically just a forum for me to fang about things that get me aggressively excited, birds. I decided that I need to have a segment on birds. Roll opening! to the inaugural bird froth segment. To kick it off, here's some amazing bird facts. Ducks sleep with one eye open, which means in their restful state, half of their brain is actually awake. Amazing. Pigeons were used for millennia to deliver special messages, including the outcome of the early Olympic Games. You're ridiculous! Worm-eating Bayesian thrushes have been known to dislodge their prey by directing their farts at piles of leaves. Apparently this encourages the worms to dance around, thus revealing their location. Insanity! There are so many different things that we can observe in birds. So much wisdom, so much insight. One of my favorite things about birds is their earnestness. I love observing them, the way that their heads are slightly out of sync with their bodies. The way that they will from time to time give you a discerning side eye. There's something almost genius about them. If nothing else, they are surely nature's great comedians. And I'll often wonder, what are they thinking? You know? Like, are they wondering whether you'll feed them or, I don't know, whether you're their long lost daughter, come back from another time and place to seek retribution and closure so that their souls can ascend to the next level of consciousness. I guess we'll never know. Next time on Bird Froth, I'm gonna be digging down deeper into the world of Indian miners, Australia's deeply underrated apparent pest species. <laughs> That's it from me this week. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe or give it give it a little thumbs up <laughs> and until next Thursday peace love and moonbeams see ya
Don't you fuck.